the, the thing we always say is half, not half ass. Uh, the idea is like whatever you're doing, cut it in half. You're thinking like you're thinking too big probably to start. Keep cutting things in half. Otherwise, it's going to be half ass. You're going to do this big idea, and you're not really going to do anything very well. You're really, you really ought to focus just on like one thing and do it really, really, really well, and focus on the basics. The basics are where it's at. I mean, like, you go to a hotel and they have fancy furniture everywhere, and they got a big screen TV in the room or whatever. But if the bed's not comfortable, this hotel sucks, right? Like, if you fly on a plane and they've got the fancy Wi-Fi in the plane, or whatever, but the plane's always two hours late, it sucks. Like. You got to get the basics right. You got to get the bed right in the hotel. You got to get the on-time arrivals right in the airline business. You know, like the trains have to run on time, that sort of thing. Like if you're in the interview business, you got to do good interviews. Um, work on that first. That's hard enough. The idea that you can like solve that problem and solve ten other problems at the same time is just a bad thing. So, I'm always telling people: cut, cut, cut. Get to the core, the real essence of what it is that you're doing, and do a really good job at that. Focus on the basics. The basics are never going to go out of style. They're not sexy, but they're never going to go out of style. Um, like, you'll be using a post-it note in 20 years, I promise you. Um, but are you going to be using this newfangled note-taker thing that, you know, I don't know, probably not. But you'll be using post-it notes because they work and they're essential and that sort of thing. So you got to kind of get your idea down to that simple essence. So that's what I keep telling people. Well, you know, um, I'm not a big fan of looking out that far. So, like, why am I excited to get up tomorrow? Because I like the stuff we're working on tomorrow. Not I, not, I like the stuff we'll be working on in six months, but really, to me, it's all about, like, what are you doing right now and tomorrow? And we're still really pumped about the stuff we're doing. We've got a lot of really cool ideas with our existing products to integrate them a little bit better, to make them better. I'm really, really, really into polishing things these days. We talk about polish a lot at the business. So um, it's easy in the software world to keep adding new things, but I really like the idea of taking what we have and polishing it, making it better. And that doesn't mean making it shiny, like blingy, but, like, making it better and really optimizing and, 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 it, and making things more efficient. And I just love that process as well. So take making something that took, you know, two minutes to do before, making it into a minute and 10 seconds, like is a really satisfying thing for me. And there's a lot of room for that. Um, so I love that. I just love that um, small businesses don't have to use crappy software anymore. So I love to be able to build software for them um, and not take, like a lot of big companies, they take their big flagship product and like pull a bunch of shit out of it and then call it small business software, which is an insult to small businesses. So I like to build stuff for them that they really need. So I love that process and to get to meet them all the time and get to hear about, you know, how our products are changing their lives, which is really, really rewarding. So I love that. And I love, the thing I'm really into right now is seeing my team grow, not like grow in size, but everyone getting better. I love that. So I love like the mentoring and the teaching side of it that I'm really into these days. I'm doing a little bit less work on the products themselves personally and more mentoring and teaching and, and, and that sort of thing, which is really, really rewarding as well. Um, so that's kind of the stuff that's really got me excited. Uh, and I'm really pumped about our new book, Rework, which will be out soon. Like that is something I cannot wait to get that book out because um, it's it's got a lot of the ideas we talked about and a lot of other ideas that are... are I don't think they're radical, but they will be seen as radical, um, and I love that. I love being able to shake things up, not just for shaking it up, because I think these ideas are important, and people should not take things so seriously and not make things so hard on themselves and that sort of thing. So I really want to get that message out there, because a lot of entrepreneurs that I meet are frustrated by how hard everything is, and I'm like, what's hard? And they tell me what's hard. I'm like, you don't have to do any of that stuff. You don't have to have these board meetings all the time. You don't have to have meetings all the time. You don't have to write plans all the time. You don't have to think that far ahead. All the, you don't have to do that stuff. Like, so I, I can't wait to get that message out too. I'm really, really excited about that. So those are the things that kind of keep me pumped up right now.